Okay, so let's see in cable vision if we have that other game with Cthulhu Collector and stuff. Oh, it's Sci-Fi Sorai versus Bonehead Bunch. I don't want to. I don't want to turn a lineman into a sacker. Oh, got straight into the action. Um, skills. Maybe we should go learn skills on this one. Um, hmm. So how are we on this game? One Nobbler out, two Sorai out. Are the Ogres winning this? The Ogres are kind of winning this. Wait, what's the score? I didn't even look at the score. The score is 0-0 zero, zero, and this... And the ball is on the Ogre side, so the Ogres are winning this. So this is a game, oh wow, Triple Skull, <laughs> Hero Nobler. This is another game in the same division that you just watched. Uh, I've only already played against the Lizards, I haven't played against the Ogres. But this is pretty exciting, the Ogres are doing well. Um, so Donkey Dragon, did you want me want to join me to cast this game, maybe? Well, half of it. Or And how do we do that if you do? Richest tea with his ogres. Patience finally paying off. Always rolling one on winnings and losing every game. Maybe he's actually getting a win here. Oh, Sierra Sierra 1-1. One, one. He's a hero of this team. He did a lot of work in their previous game. I brought a match report on that. Discord chat channel, yeah. Would make sense. Okay, so Ogre pickup fails. So it might still end up 0-0, zero, zero, because ogres can't do basic things. Uh, okay, so let's find Donkey Dragon. Uh, start voice call. Kaboom. Alright, the lizards are fighting back. John is out. Hello. Hello. Can the stream hear Donkey Dragon? Question mark. Yes, I am here now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Perfect. Can, can the stream hear you? Question to the screen. Stream. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mama Satra can hear you. Excellent. Sweet. So, I guess... This is Sci-Fi Sora versus Richard T. I guess you wanna watch it in client too, cause I just loaded up the client. Yeah, cool. And it looks like uh, Richard T is actually kind of winning, which is impressive. Yeah, but I mean, the Richard T play ogres that actually work seems like the only player who could make it work. <laughs> Maybe, but but he hasn't <laughs> won any games before this. So, <laughs> so you're saying statistically it's his time to win? Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it ever is with Ogres. I don't really know the statistics on that. Isaac Asimo goes down. Yeah. To... That is Big Dave. No break though. And he didn't pile on. He shows us to 
control the player, which is sensible because he hasn't picked up the ball yet. The Crocs no, could exactly. go for the ball, possibly. And, and it's raining, so I mean. Oh, the, yeah, that yes, too. Yes, if you want to have the ball on an ogre. How many tried the ogre pick up last time? Didn't make it though. And another Sauros gets hit. Yeah. And nothing. Jack McDevitt is the top one. Or is it McDevitt? I don't know. How do you pronounce that? I don't know, but let's make a deal. I'll pronounce all the Sauros names. You get to pronounce the ogre names. I just looked at some of them. Uh, I think we both get to pronounce both of them actually. So we went for a nobler pickup. Oh That's yeah, it. you're right. And it was a six though. I mean, it would have worked. I mean, you can't. Uh, it doesn't work that way. I mean, that was a six again. It was two sixes in a row. Nice. Um, but yeah, so Same, this like, is. Uh, would have had the ball now. So the nobbler, the problem with having it on a nobbler is that it's a lot le easier for the skinks to threaten it and hit it. Yeah, I mean, strength one players tend to get rather easy to sack. Yeah, and uh, and this ogre would actually be really good to have it on because he also has break tackle. So he can even dodge. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, if you look around, like, Toast, uh, break tackle on quite a few of the uh, yeah, yeah, at least two of them. Yeah, yeah it's a it's a well built ogre team for sure. Uh, so, as well built as an ogre team can be. No, no, nothing. No ogres permed. There's a miss next game, skink. No, 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 no Soros perm. By the way, do you know? Uh, did he lose an ogre, or is it just a miss next game or something? Since there's a loner ogre. So he he lost he lost an ogre in Greenhorn, and then he has rolled like five ones in a row on winning, so he hasn't been able to replace him. That's S something like that. Not too good. Yeah, it's 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 pretty damn unlucky. I'm getting quoted on the well-built ogre team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a foul coming in. This lizard team does like to foul. It does. It's only a foul. That would be a dirty player. Thick skull triggered. Thick skull triggered. And this is T. Oh, right, you're right. <laughs> but, I mean, again, if it had been a dirty player, it would have worked. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's brave. I mean, he has why to. Why would you even? I mean, bravery is all he's got at this point, isn't it? Yeah, but why on earth would you even do that on uh, a no block Saurus? Because like, I mean, if you get, get it down, he can block, do something. I, I mean, it's kind of the same reason I did cage dives turn after turn. It's just you're playing for the small hope. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, I think I would have rather tried to dodge out the Saurus than... <laughs> like, I mean, I think it's almost more likely. Yeah, probably, but... Because, I mean, there's the not... would have taken the blows down as well. But there's not that much and up, upside. Rocks and the stun. Yeah, Asimov is, is, uh, is uh, getting a beat on. But not piled on on, because T is still respecting the lizard threat here. Yeah, and he can't even foul the crocs right now, but of course, I mean, it's stunned, so it's still gonna be down at the next turn. He doesn't have many nobblers yet left, does he? Has one stunned here, and one standing here, and one with a ball, and the rest, yeah. are, the rest are out, I guess. Actually, I mean, looking over it right now, like, there's only two skinks in the field. Why isn't he just hunting down the skinks right now? I like, mean, uh, they're he... the only real tre threat to the Noblers because. I mean, all all he, all his uh, uh, ogres were hunting very recently based, so I think that's part of it. That it didn't well, just... really. I guess he has. Just thinking, like, an ogre versus a skink, that's always a three dice. I mean, yeah, unless the uh, unless this, unless there's a yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously, but 
Oh, that's a nice one. H Beam Piper gets Macy down. Do you think we're gonna see another uh, foul on Big Willy? Uh, looks like. That's free Willy. Yeah, yeah, the movement skink is the one who's MNG. That's true. Yeah. But, I mean, on the bright side, at least now he can free Willy. Wait, what are you talking about, Manus Ultra? Are you playing a game at the same time? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm for I'm uh, I'm pro talking to Manus in chat, but yeah. Oh, uh, right, sorry. He talked about a greed reroll, and I didn't see one. I mean, that was the greed. It was kind of greedy to reroll uh, the double push into uh, Pow Pow. Okay, I Simply completely. Because it's, it's, it's his last uh, reroll, and the enemy has the ball. Okay, I completely. That's greedy. I completely missed that reroll then. But yeah, that happened according to the log. What hit was that? Was that, Ma that on was Macy? Like one of the first hits. Okay, what's this round? Was that the one who knocked down Macy? Uh, Maris is saying exactly. So you got him. So. If you look at it, like the Nobler that's the furthest behind right now, uh, still on his part of the field, Alt, I think he's gonna fall with that one. Something. There's, there's a few good. Oh, I didn't even see that Nobler. He was hiding behind the Croc's tail. Oh, he's not even fouling. Oh, he's marked. of a Nobler. Oh, he's, he's marking a Saurus. He's, he's, uh, he's doing more than his weight. But at least we see a skink maybe turned into. Turned into. Oh, just a stun. I mean, stun is good though. A oh, actually, okay. as a KO. That's even <laughs> better. Because uh, the important thing is here is scoring. Because we want to see the ogre win, don't we? I mean. <laughs> I kind of have to say yes, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's ogres. Like, this is not something you expect to see. I mean, like, what do you what do you think is most likely usually to see in a match like Ogres winning <laughs> or a quad skull? Um, quad skull, probably. Okay. But yeah, and so uh, maybe they are they are probably pretty close actually. Quad skull is actually pretty uncommon, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was wow! I barely saw him do that reroll there. But. Oh, on the uh, bonehead. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was just like instant reroll. Didn't huh. even see the dialogue. But yeah, I really like Kevin marking the Soros here. Uh, I mean, maybe stupid from from his his for from his point of view, for, but from the game's point of view, he's doing a really good job here because his uh, like a nobler is like worth less than a player, and a Soros is kind of worth more than a player, and he's kind of occupying a Soros, so he's doing like. Really, really good work. More than his own weight in in Soros. Yeah, but I mean, again, like now we get to see. Okay. Sidestep is good. But he could follow there there to him for a mark on the ball. He doesn't though. Yeah, but I would be really careful. This is like your last skink, like. I mean, you ca can't really be careful because it needs a miracle. I mean, when you can't even break Nobla armor, I mean, it's <laughs> AV5. <laughs> and it's, and it's, yeah, Kevin is just gonna stand up again and continue to occupy this Saurus. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Kevin is a hero. And sure, these... I, li I like doing that block, but the ogres are gonna. I, I understand why he's just trying to do stuff right now. Yeah. Elicits... Yeah. But it's gonna be like. But I think it's you're right. We... It's, it's, I think it's gonna be a bit hard for uh, the ogres to actually defend the ball this turn. Oh, this is exactly what I want him to do. Blitz the skink here with the mighty blow piling on block. Yeah, but I mean, that skink is surprisingly fine. Yeah. 
and he didn't follow to pile that on. I guess he needs a screen. Yeah, I, I, he needs but that player right now. But the screen doesn't do much against the skink, is the thing. And if he takes out the skink, then there's really no, no, no threat no, to the I ball. Mean, if, if, if he can't bring more play if the lizards can't bring more players over, then a screen still makes it a one die instead of a two die. Does it? Doesn't the uh, skink get a natural two dice? Probably, but, uh... Oh, this this helps the situation, actually. Yeah. Tem Tem is a, in a good place. He could be one to the left. That would yeah, have the been. The ogres just don't care about uh, dodging out right now. Well, that was a break tackle, so it makes sense. Yeah, yeah I mean, obviously, but he rolled a six. Yeah, that's true. So he didn't need a break tackle. I wonder, kind of, uh, let's see, could he by any chance to... Minions? Six. What are you talking about, Tosuke? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about, the, he's a, he has a block Soros, but it's just not in range, even if you could free it up. Ah, right. One, two... Oh, that's... Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> Tail on the Nobler. That's a good play. Isaac Asimov is actually making something happen here. That's not a good play. That's a one in nine. <laughs> That's not you. I mean, I don't mean from the coach. I mean from the player. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. Like, <laughs> the Crux knows what he wants to do. But... The Crux is doing actually doing something here. But I think arguably it was a good move by the coach too. But he should have moved some players before that. Because this Jack McDewitt is not is notably not actually marked right now anymore. Yeah, but I'm just like I mean, you're starting your turn with with like a blitz where you first of all need a two plus to activate the player, <laughs> and secondly, whoa, you have like what That's fifty five percent chance that it's gonna be a turnover afterwards. Okay, his, the Charles Strauss is fine. Imagine if it had been the ogre that died instead. Oh, that would be brutal. No, it's a loner. A loner ogre? Huh. Yeah, I mean, he, hi he hired in the ogre for... Uh, I, I assume. And that makes a lot of sense. Oh, so maybe he had a MNG Let, let's ogre be honest, too. like, uh, this Crox is just gonna get... Uh, I mean, obviously he has stand firm, so he needs a, a knockdown. Yeah, he can blitz him and then hit him also. Uh, but the blitz is a one dice, so maybe that's not a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's blitzing that way. Oh, he's gonna chain push the nobbler maybe. No, he can't really do that. No, I mean, he can't do that without pushing the crocs into the nobbler. Which is kind of... Yeah, that doesn't work because of stand firm. And also doesn't really help. Oh shit. 1 in 36. No. Oh, he actually rerolled the bonehead. So he has no rerolls left now. So I guess you're dodging the nobbler. Just try the yeah. Oh, Nobler makes it, and probably we have an ogre win here. He still had like it was. It was still eight, a three eight plus. Out of nine nine uh, times that, that would have worked. Yeah, that's true. But still, you don't want to have to do it. Oh, brutal! Not a lot of stuff coming back. Okay. I was watching the share leader, so I haven't, haven't seen it yet. Okay, so a skink oh, came sorry. back. Um, and a nobbler came back. I mean, th those are the important players, let's be honest. Um, I mean, <laughs> for the Saurus, yes, I would, I'm pro I would probably be uh, loving the fact that I got a skink back. Yeah. But on the other hand, like, look at all these ogres. You have to get past them somehow. Yeah, he's, they're pretty good at scoring fast though, these lizards. 
Yeah, Maybe not in the rain. You have to remember, like, I mean, unless we see a weather change, we're in the rain and no one has any rerolls. Yeah, that's um, they're tired here, these players. He only needed a three, I think, because uh, noblers have a natural plus one because of the Titchy. Wait, there was a DT? I don't I think. I don't think so. The, the DT was on the nobler himself, so that wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but there was a tail. So the 2 plus turned yeah, I mean, into 3 I'll, plus I'll be because of the tail. I'm pretty sure it was a 3 plus instead of a 2 plus. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the, Sau the Sauros doesn't have any. Uh... Yeah, it was the nobler had the diving, diving tackle, tail. so it just looked confusing for someone. I think it was this nobbler. Yeah, it's Roger here. He has he has diving tank. Oh. This uh, Crux is uh, surprisingly well behaved, by the way. I mean, the, obviously the ogres are also really well behaved right now. That's game though, isn't it? Like he should have run up. Uh, yeah, you're right. Or some players or something first. You're right. This is over now. This is uh, this is a uh, mistake. Cthulhu collector does a lot. He doesn't move his players before he acts. He's he's pretty he's pretty new, I think. To be fair, that's a mistake that a lot of new players do quite often. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it took me forever to learn it. Yeah, and I, I still do it sometimes. I'm just pretty good at do it, not doing it often. Oh, he rerolled the bonehead again. Wait, how did he do that? Did he get a reroll on the kickoff? I am not sure. Um, did, wasn't it out of rerolls? Yeah, it was. But maybe it was a reroll on the kickoff. Uh, give it just a moment. I can't see it. Yeah, I mean it counted coach assistance, so yes, someone got a reroll. I mean, okay. that's the bonus. Yeah. But yeah, the game is over. So. so I mean, you got like the will of novel is complete. The ogres won. T wins a game. Poor Cthulhu collector. Okay, I'm gonna bet you right now he's gonna roll double ones on the winnings. <laughs> he's gonna roll one, he's gonna re-roll, and he's gonna get another one. <laughs> Duffel, Duffel I think... is not known for many things, but he's not known for mercy. I think at this point, even if he rolls a one, he will afford an ogre. <laughs> but in that case, Novel will make him roll a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor T. But he won now, so that that's a great thing. Oh, we can can see a vanity pass here by zero one zero zero to wait. Was that? Wait, 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 that, was a, that was that was just a handoff. That was just a handoff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, what? Oh, he's gonna pass what? his Horus. Okay. What? <laughs> and he makes what? it. So zero 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 one gets one SPP in a very unlikely way. And now he's fouling with the ball. Yeah, yes, because right, you so, so rarely get to do it. Could he like blitz first or something? And a send off on the ball carrier. They, they know, they know how to entertain <laughs> these these lizards, don't they? <laughs> oh, by by the way, the the skig that forgot to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to do the throw, got the MVP, so... Yeah. He leveled. It's nice. He leveled anyways. Nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Cool. That's a good way to turn the mood from the losing streak. So yeah, thanks for joining me, Donkey Dragon. And thanks everyone for watching. And I think we close there. Probably. I think so as well. So, uh... Was fun joining in. Yeah. Thanks for doing that. And see you. See you and let me know if you need me some other time. It's 
always fun to try this. Yeah, I, I will. I don't cast much, but... Yeah, neither do I. So, um, anyways, I'll be off. Yeah, see ya.